Hey guys, welcome to Check Your Lid TV. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a review of a painting service provider, Fernando Enterprise. Now, why would you use a painting service provider? Well, the most common reason you would use one is because you've got a big pile of shame of unpainted miniatures, as I alluded to in the opening of this video, and you want to get those miniatures painted and on the table because otherwise it's a waste of money. Uh, there's not much point in purchasing miniatures unless you're actually going to put them on the table and put them to good use. Another reason why you might want to use a uh, painting uh, service is because uh, your time is precious to you and uh, painting miniatures can, for some of us, take quite a long amount of time. That's time that you could spend with family, friends or en engaging in other aspects of your various hobbies. So whatever the reasons are, and there's many more I'm sure, the fact of the matter is uh, you might find yourself in a situation where you want to use a painting, uh, painting service. And uh, the one I've been using for uh, almost 20 years now is Fernando Enterprises. Now, Fernando Enterprises has been around for since about 1994, so 30 years now. Um, and uh, if you're, if you're um, still operating a business 30 years into it, you must be doing something right. So what are some of the considerations you need to look at when uh, engaging with a, uh, uh, a painting service? Uh, I would suggest reputation is the first thing you want to look at. And as I've already alluded to, Fernando Enterprise has been around for 30 years. The other thing you want to look at is value for money, uh, turnaround time, quality of the work, and how simple the whole process is. So with that in mind, let's have a look at Fernando Enterprise. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is value for money. Now, Fernando Enterprise uh, will paint miniatures from 6 millimeters up to 75 millimeters, if memory serves me correctly. But I've always just used them uh, for getting either 10, 15, or 28 mil miniatures painted. So how much are you going to pay to get uh, a Wargaming miniature painted? Well, it depends on the quality of the work that you, you uh, want done. For 15 millimeter, for example, you can get miniatures painted in uh, Wargame Standard, Collector Standard, and Showcase Standard. In 28 millimeter, you can get miniatures painted to Collector Standard, Showcase Standard, or Super Showcase Standard. So from that, we can see that there are four different standards, uh, Wargamer, Collector, Showcase, and Super Showcase. And obviously the prices that you will pay um, for having miniatures paid uh, painted in those uh, different levels or quality or styles is going to dictate how much you're going to pay for your miniature and that's going to be up to you. Uh, suffice to say, um, I have looked at um, their, say, showcase quality, which I consider is probably the premier uh, uh, level of painting that you want for tabletop miniatures. Um, and in comparison to what I have uh, researched in regards to other painters, um, I've discovered that uh, they're very, very competitive when it comes to pricing. Now, it should also be remembered that when you place an order with Fernando Enterprise, if your uh, order is over a certain dollar value, uh, you can get a discount, uh, 10 or 15%, dependent on the quality of the painting that you're getting done. Now, if you're only placing an order for yourself, that's all well and good, but you might be only wanting to get a handful of miniatures painted. As a consequence of that, it's worth thinking about uh, engaging with either some friends or even maybe your war games club and seeing if you can get a bulk order together and send that off. The benefit of that is you all benefit from the discount and you can all share the cost of the postage of the miniatures to and from Fernando Enterprise. Okay, so let's talk about turnaround time. That is to say, how long does it take for your miniatures to get painted. Well, I've just sent 640 miniatures uh, to Fernando Enterprise uh, 
in Sri Lanka. It took about five days from the time I dropped the miniatures off at the post office to arrive uh, with Fernando Enterprise. Uh, it will now take somewhere between 12 and 14 weeks to get those 640 miniatures painted. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, I have used other painters before to do painting for me. Uh, some have been very quick and some have taken extraordinarily long amount of time to do the work. Uh, there was one artist I, I engaged with and I actually had to have the miniatures sent back to me half painted because it was just taking far too long. So 12 to 14 weeks for 640 miniatures to get painted, I don't think is too bad. So now let's talk about the quality of the work. Uh, now, like I've said before, I've had thousands of miniatures painted by Fernando Enterprise. So what I'll show you now is just some of the miniatures that I've had painted by Fernando Enterprise. It's also worthwhile uh, to go to their uh, webpage and have a look. And I'll put a link to their webpage in the description below this video. And you can see for yourself the quality of the work that they do. So the next question we've got to uh, address is, how simple is the process? Well, all you really need to do is uh, send an email to Fernando Enterprise, letting them know that you want to send an order off. They'll reply to your email uh, and explain to you what you need to do. Uh, one of the things you'll need to do is uh, create a list of miniatures that you're sending, uh, how many you're sending over, uh, whether they're metal or plastic miniatures, um, what scale they are and to what quality uh, or standard that you want the miniatures painted. Uh, once that's done, uh, when you pack your miniatures to send them off, uh, you'll also need to include painting guides. Um, so uh, print off uh, some pictures of uh, the miniatures uh, that you want painted and, those, and the artists will then uh, use those painting guides to paint your miniatures. Now with these painting guides, the more detail you can provide, the better. You will get better results for that. Um, bear in mind also, uh, Fernando Enterprise, uh, they do have a, an extensive library of the Osprey uh, books, uniform books. So if you have an Osprey and you want your miniatures to be painted as per uh, a particular plate in a particular book, you can quote that to them and that should be sufficient for you to get the job done. But from my experience, I found that uh, the more detailed uh, images that you can send, um, the better uh, the whole process will be. Now, once, you've, uh, once the order is received and they start work on it, you can expect to receive emails fairly regularly uh, showing you um, what the artists have done uh, and asking if you are happy with how the miniature is painted, and if there is any corrections required. I personally really look forward to getting these emails. Uh, it shows me how the miniature is being painted, um, and uh, I feel like I'm part of the process. So that's the process for getting your miniatures uh, dispatched to and painted by Fernando Enterprise. 
I should also uh, add that the Fernando Enterprise does more than simply paint miniatures. They will uh, also base your miniatures for you. They'll provide things like spears and pikes for your miniatures. Um, they'll paint uh, shields because of, often uh, some of the shields that you want to paint, that you want uh, on your miniatures, uh, can be somewhat complex. Um, those hypacipus that I showed you earlier in the video uh, with the head of Alexander on their shields, they were painted by Fernando. They're not decals, they're um, or transfers, they're actually hand painted. Um, they'll also paint flags. Uh, so some units um, have pretty ornate flags and it could be that you just want uh, flags for your units um, uh, and you'd paint them yourself. Regardless, the fact of the matter is, Fernando Enterprise does more than just paint miniatures. So check out their website and see what other services they provide. So we'll wrap it up there. Um, if you've got any comments, please stick them in the comment section below. If you've used Fernando Enterprise in the past and you want to share your views, again, stick them in the comment section below. Um, and apart from that, uh, all that's left to do is bid you farewell and I'll catch you on the next one. You're a question.